Welcome. This is an Innovations Tech Tip. I recently did some work with an ELO Touch Systems 1515L 15-inch LCD desktop touch monitor. I was pleased with the touch monitor's hardware and performance, but in order to make it work properly in Linux, I had to find a suitable calibration program. Out of the box on several distributions, this touchscreen exhibits Y-axis inversion, where touching the top of the screen moves the cursor to the bottom and vice versa. Xinput Calibrator is a free desktop.org project that worked well for calibration, fixing the y-axis inversion issue, and as a bonus it works for any standard XORG touchscreen driver. For this post, I tested on Bodhi Linux 1.2.0, which is based on Ubuntu 10.04 LTS, Fedora 15, and Ubuntu 11.04. Xinput Calibrator, as I mentioned, was the screen calibration utility. My test machine was an Intel-based Lenovo T60 laptop with an attached ELO Touch Systems 1515L 15-inch LCD desktop touch monitor. Have a look at the blog post associated with this video for a link to XInput Calibrator's website so that you can go and download an installation package. Be aware that if you're using the ARM version of Bodhi, which is in alpha at the time of this writing, it's based on Debian, so you want to grab the Debian testing package. You can also add a PPA if you're running Ubuntu, but I had trouble getting it to work during my tests. Last but not least, you can grab the source and compile it yourself by downloading the tarball or using Git. Before you actually install XInput Calibrator on a freshly installed Debian-based system, which includes Ubuntu and Bodhi, make sure to update your package management system or you'll get failed dependencies. This is because the package management system doesn't know what packages are available in their repositories yet. This isn't a problem with Fedora since the package management index is updated every time you use yum. Once you've ensured that the system is or will be updated, you'll be ready to install XInput Calibrator via the package you downloaded or the PPA. Once XInput Calibrator is installed, it should show up in your application menu or menus. Look for an item labeled Calibrate Touchscreen. If you don't see it anywhere, you can launch it from the terminal with the XInput underscore Calibrator command. The use of XInput Calibrator is very simple. You're presented with a full screen application that asks you to touch a series of four points. The instructions say that you can use a stylus to increase precision, but I find that using my finger works well for the ELO touchscreen. One of the nice features of X Input Calibrator is that it's smart enough to know when it encounters an inverted axis. After I run through the calibration, the Y axis inversion problem is fixed, so I'm ready to start using the touchscreen. You'll probably want your calibration to persist across reboots, so you'll need to do a little more work now to make the settings permanent. First, you'll need to run the X input underscore calibrator program from the terminal and then perform the calibration. Toward the bottom of the output, you can see instructions for making the calibration permanent. This section will vary depending on what X input underscore calibrator detects about your system. In my case, under Ubuntu, the output was an xorg.conf.d snippet, which I then copied into the xorg.conf.d directory on my distribution. Be aware that even though the output says xorg.conf.d should be located in slash etc slash x11, it might actually be located somewhere else like slash user slash share slash x11 on your distribution. Once you've found the xorg.conf.d directory, you can use your favorite text editor with root privileges to create the 99-calibration.conf file inside of it. Now when you reboot, you should see that your calibration has stayed in effect. If you have a reason to avoid using an xorg.conf.d file to store your calibrations, you can run xinput underscore calibrator with the dash dash output dash type space X input option and argument combo. At the bottom of this output you can see that there are instructions for using X input to make your calibration persistent. If it's not already present you'll need to install X input and then copy the command line in X input underscore calibrators instructions into a script that starts with your X session. 
you can usually also add it to your desktop manager startup programs via something like gnome-session-properties if you would prefer. Another option that might be of use to you is dash V. The dash V or dash dash verbose option displays extra output so that you can see more of what's going on behind the scenes. If you have any trouble getting your calibration to work, this would be a good place to start. Your output will vary from what I have here depending on what type of hardware you have and which distribution you run. For instance, on Fedora 15 I get the X input instructions by default instead of an xorg.conf.d snippet. Make sure that you run the above commands yourself and don't copy the output from my listings. If you have a desire or need to redo the calibration periodically, you might want to consider creating a wrapper script to automate the process of making the calibration permanent. Such a script might use sed to strip out the relevant code and then a simple echo statement to dump it into the correct xorg.conf.d file or startup script. That concludes this tech tip. Have a look at innovationsts.com for other tips, projects, how-tos, and service offerings available from Innovations Technology Solutions. Thanks, and stay tuned for more from Innovations.